Hey everyone, AKP Gaming. If you're a little bit bored of Fallout 76 and just doing the constant same things, then I'm with you. Uh, one of my ideas was that I was sitting down thinking, what could I do next? And I started wanting to make a series on building, so it gave me an idea. I went to my YouTube comments and Lost Ranger um, had actually made a comment which was, how about something involving a stealth build? And also ZJ Johnson says, what about how to do maximum damage with a fat man? So it kind of got me thinking that one of the best ideas would be maybe making something along the lines of a tank and stealth build uh, kind of mixed together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the build, what perk cards and show you it in action. So let's get straight into the video. So the first thing was when I was looking around my camp, I actually have a display of a 50 cal gun, which I used quite regularly and also my grand finale, which if you know, is normally collected via the quest on Nuka Cola World. But I noticed that the Broadsider only did 181 damage compared to the Broadsider 655. So that was, of course, a completely easy and obvious choice. Uh, I was giving it a couple of little tests, and as you can see, with most even high-powered uh, enemies, it's causing a lot of damage. So really, really good fun. Uh, I tested it with a few others. Um, i done it with the Myla Queen. And as we know, that can be a real pain. My wife was kind of overprotecting me, looking over just in case things went wrong. And also, I did it in during one of the events with maximum effect. So let's talk perks. Lock and load, 30% faster for your heavy guns. This gun is quite slow, so really important. Of course, with the ballistic ammo weighing 90% less, cannonballs, if I had all of them in my stock, it'd be 250. Glow sight, 60% extra to glowing enemies. We also have Grenadier, again, twice the radius for the explosion. Suppressor, again, is going to reduce some of the damage to you, which is great. You also have Tendonizer, which is going to get you an extra 10% damage for 10 seconds. We also need the Demolition Expert, an extra 60% damage. We also have Convert Operative for the sneak damage, because, uh, again, this is a stealth build. 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We also have Adrenaline, which is going to get us up to an extra 60% damage. We also have the Blooded Mess, 15% bonus damage. VAT criticals over 100% for better criticals. One Gun Army for the Stagger Chance. And we also have Quick Hands as an optional because, again, it will reload instantly. So this is what I chose in the end. Also, Apparel, remember the Chinese Stealth Armor. I found that was perfectly sufficient for me. So overall, there is the build. Let me know if I've missed anything out. I think it's really, really good fun. But in terms of legendary perks as well, um, I don't really use them at the moment. I really need to, but follow through apparently is really good for this sort of build. And of course, taking one for the team for the extra damage. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. If you've done this before or you're trying it out, let me know how you get on. Thank you very much for the uh, comments, everyone. And if you want another build, let me know and I will get straight onto it. So thank you very much, everyone. Take it easy. Bye-bye.